Hi friends! If you click to check out the new Viseart Moisture Boost Lip Shine products and dual ended lip pencils, then please keep on watching. Hi, my name is Alicia. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Kinky Sweat stands for my kinky hair and sweat life. I'm a fitness professional who loves things all movement and beauty. If you want to check out what I do in between the makeups, you can head over to my Instagram. A huge thank you to Muse Beauty Pro for sending me these moisture boost lip shines and dual ended lip pencils they included a really lovely note here alicia that's me so excited to share the new Viseart moisture boost lip shines with you for a complimentary pout we've curated lip sets with matching esom lip liners can't wait to see you rocking at these exclusive sets enjoy thank you so much to the team at muse beauty pro so generous along with sending these says they asked that i do some type of social media promotion with their products so i hope you are okay with that they did not pay me to do this video but i'm always willing to help spread the word about their products because i believe in them i think their eyeshadows are fantastic namely their mattes their 12 pan palette their bigger pro palettes their smaller palettes east some is Muse spelled backwards. It's their in-house brand. So if you don't know, Michelle and Isom had a collaboration. I believe her brush set should still be available online. I'll have all those links down below. And if you want to see them in action, I use them extensively in my Viseart Grand Pro 1, how to use your Grand Pro 1 palette video. I'll make sure to link that video up above and down below but let's get into these lip sets yes i figure we'll go over pricing product details swatches and we will also demo all the pencils and the lip shines how does that sound i am on the muse beauty pro site know that these are only sold right now on musebeautypro.com or musebeauty.pro if you are a makeup artist and you have a pro discount i believe you would get 30 percent off the store the lip shines come in four shades and i wanted to go over over individually the cost and the bundles available individually these retail for $19 you get a suggested shelf life of 12 months and this is made in the US of A the total weight we're looking at 5.7 milliliters or 0.19 fluid ounces of product now here is the lip shine vial shiny black plastic cap very simple in design and I like the fact that you can see the color of the product in the vial so you don't have to flip it over and see what color it is you have four shades as I mentioned before the pink one we just saw is petal 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 next one up we have beignet Ooh, I love beignets next up we have cerise and lastly we have fleur here are all the lip shines beautiful selection I think this kind of hits a wide variety of skin tones and moods yes there's not a red in here but I'm particularly not a fan of red lip shine type of glosses but that's just me I know who am I it's not about you Alicia I do rather gravitate more towards the roses the mauves and the pinks and the beiges and on the top of the cap you have the Viseart logo which I think is a nice touch on the design and the two pencils that they curated with these lip shines if you decide to get them you have the Isom dual pencils in nude and plum if you decide to get a lip liner with a lip shine that bundle will cost you $30 instead of $39 because in individually the pencil is 20 the lip shine is 19 so you save nine dollars which isn't bad at all the different sets you got the nude set which comes with the nude pencil and the beignet lip shine fleur comes with the plum lip duo petal also with the plum lip duo and lastly cerise with the plum lip duo if you're not looking to get the liners but you want all four lip shines you can get that in a set for 60 dollars. so you get some money off that as a bundle instead of having to buy them individually some product details here I got my product knowledge pamphlet discover a lineup of oil glosses infused with the nourishing benefits of reser I always say this wrong resveratrol resveratrol grapeseed jojoba and sunflower seed oil pucker up people want your lips to be in prime smooching form come Valentine's Day Introducing the Moisture Boost Oil Lip Shine Collection from Vizier Paris, a vegan, gluten-free, silicone-free, and petroleum-free hydrating oil gloss in four universal core shades. Resver 
resveratrol and grapeseed oil rejuvenate repair and renew with powerful antioxidants while jojoba and sunflower seed oil provide plumping peptides for a luxurious pout universal in every sense our curated collection can be worn alone layered over your favorite lip color or mixed together to create your own bespoke high sheen finish weightless and comfortable these glosses allow for quick and effortless application on set or on the go so judging from that i'm also going to pop into the website description just to kind of see so we're looking for a quick weightless application with sheer to medium coverage okay so these are not liquid lip products lip creams these are more like a lip gloss with moisture benefits looking at the ingredients and while i understand that resveratrol is touted to be in here is very low on the list so not quite sure how beneficial the antioxidant benefit of that ingredient will be because generally antioxidants in skincare they don't really last once they hit light and air they break down very quickly and considering that the resveratrol is down on the list not too sure how much antioxidant benefit you will gain from the inclusion of that ingredient but i I'm sure it's nice that it's there. The base for many of these, I think all of them, is castor seed oil followed by polyamide 8, jojoba seed oil, and the sunflower seed wax, car nuova wax, and candelilla. Candelilla. It does have fragrance, but I did not sniff it yet, so hopefully it won't be too overpowering. Not that anal about fragrance in lip products like I am on skincare and makeup. So let's get started on these swatches, shall we? That's enough. This is the first time I'm trying their dual lip pencil. Very excited. This is in nude. The pencils though are made in Germany. One gram of product or 0 0.035 ounces of product. This is how it looks like up close. So you have the lighter shade on one side and the deeper one on the other. So you have an opportunity to work on several skin tones or just have an opportunity to create more dimension and contour on your own lips with the lighter and darker color. Here is how the nude looks. Ooh, that's very smooth in Indeed. And here is the darker side of the nude pencil. You see this has a little more red present and in person it looks more of a, a brown which good to know so don't be too scared with what you see on camera here. The reddish tone I don't feel is as prominent in person if you do see it in person. If you decide to get the lip set with beignet you would get this pencil and beignet is described to be a creamy light beige. So you see here is very lightweight, but that is the color. It's like a light caramel color. And you know what this smells like? This reminds me of Bonnie Bell. I don't know why. I'm having like crazy nostalgic moment right now. Wow, who knew? Who knew? So let's take a look at the nude pencil, how that looks like. On the lips very soft and smooth definitely not like a MAC pencil which is a little drier in texture and feel and it's nice that you could easily spread this around not just on the perimeters of your lip but you could fill up the lip pretty quickly that color by itself is gorgeous <laughs> now let's put on beignet definitely the beignet has a little more of like a tan hue to it. So the nude color, I think is a little more pink, but I like it. It doesn't look ashy on me. Texture, really smooth. You can see that there's shine there, but it's not gloppy. It's not heavy on the lips either. And I feel because of that, you can layer, as they said, over your favorite lip color. You probably could mix this with your other favorite lip glosses. Maybe because of this texture, you can manipulate other textures that might be on the goopier, thicker side to kind of spread with a little more glide so it don't feel as heavy on the lip. I could kind of taste it. It's not too bad. But I know I got something on my lip, you know what I mean? I want to try now the other side of the lip liner. This is the darker side. I gotta be very careful here. Oh, already messed that up. I took off what I had because the lip shine 
makes it a little tricky to apply this darker liner because it's so slippy. That was my fault. Now that we have that on the outer corner, check <laughs> on. I do have a lip brush. I should just use it. So the darker side of the lip liner definitely adds a little more contrast, a little more dimension. And I believe the tone of the liner also brings out the more browny, beigey tone of beignet. So depending on how you want to wear it, how you want to appear will determine what color liner you do put with it. And here's how beignet looks by itself with no liner if you just wanted to see the color. Now granted my lips are naturally a little pink so that still is coming through but really nice shade to wear by itself just to put a little more of a beigey tone on the lip if you don't want your lips to appear pink but more of that brownie beigey color. And again really nice texture really smooth i could definitely detect more of a lip oil feel versus a gloss type of texture typically fell in a traditional lip gloss formula it definitely has a little more slip and it definitely feels a little thinner in texture which isn't a bad thing i like that a lot because again you can be successful in layering this over different lip products without the fear of it becoming heavy or goopy on the lip and also i think the moisture benefits are apparent especially since when i wipe it off my lips still feel pretty soft so nice to know if this does stay on you for a little bit your lips are gonna be nice and soft. Let's go into Petal. I wanna check out the plum liner. I'm really curious as to see how it wears. So this is the pinkier side of the plum dual lip liner. And here is the deeper plum side of the lip liner. And Petal is just a soft pink shade. I think this is probably the most transparent out of the four. And I'm sure beautiful over the pinky side of Plum. So let's apply that rose shade first. Really nice lip liner to wear on its own or with your favorite rose color shade. And here's Petal on top. So I feel this shade definitely adds more of a gloss effect versus a soft pink effect. I think obviously my lips look pink because of the presence of the liner. But perhaps this by itself will probably just enhance the natural pinking tone of my lip. These are really easy to take off. It's good to know that if you ever find yourself in the same situation where you have to switch your lip or if you're a makeup artist and your model's lips are like dry and chapped from all the lip switching, if you use this product, that will not happen. And here is the other side of the plum lip liner. Petal on top. I'm just schmoozing this plummy liner with the lip shine and you see here that it's just a plumier tone plummy rosy in nature and again i feel the lip shine in this shade as more of a shine than like an actual pinky shade on the lip which is great if you want the texture if you want that formula and you don't want the tint so perhaps you will pick this shade over beignet if you don't want the beige or brownie tone the more caramel tone definitely check this out if you want the most translucent out of the four and here is petal all by itself as is so you could take a look at the shade and a note about the lip liners i wanted to pull up the description from the website i know it's little little commercial break a little ease of commercial break despite their smooth texture they are said to be waterproof smudge proof and transfer resistant so good to know that initially that smoothness will then set and it's i mean these glide so beautifully across the lips the pigment is there without a doubt so really nice to know that if you wanted to get the set with the lip shine you're gonna have a good time with that lip liner duo. Alongside the plum lip liner, we have Fleur, which is a rose wood shade. This, I feel, is gonna be one of my favorites. I love roses. I think they're so good, especially when they're on the dustier side of things. It's nice. How about I try it on first without the lip liner, and then we'll go into the lip liner application. How about that? You definitely see a lot more pigment here on the lips. The texture, again, is gorgeous. I really love this shade a lot. I think it reminds me of Famous from Linda Halberg. It has like that rosy beige nude color to it, which I think is so great if you're doing a light makeup day and you don't want a, just a regular clear gloss, but you want a little bit of color. This is it right here. And here it is on top of the rosier side of the lip liner. It has a little more pink in there because of the tone of the lip liner, which I think is great if you want it to appear pinkier and not as 
dusty mauve as it does by itself. And here it is on top of the deeper plum side of the lip liner. I really love this combination. It definitely appears more rich in tone, a lot more wine tone. I think great for evening, even during the day. This is like the grown and sexy look on me. And the plum shade from the liner, I just think it pairs so beautifully with Lord, in terms of enhancing that richer, rosier tendency I feel Floor can have. It definitely has that potential in terms of shade. And I mean, you can go nuts in comparing the both the rosier, pinkier shade on one side and then the plum on the very outer corners of your lip. Then you could create that richer bracket of shade and it'll just look gorgeous. And lastly, we have Ceres, which is Ceres, Ceres, a deep cherry. That is and that, oh my god. Here is Ceres all by itself, and you weren't even in focus. I feel I could get away with being a little more haphazard in my application with the other three. This has a little more pigment. It has the most pigment out of the four, for sure. Definitely the richest in tone, in color, in... This is like your deep wine shade. If you're into gloss, lip oil, shine types of formulas in this color. I'm combining the rosier side with the plum side. And here's that lip shine over both lip liners. You could automatically see if you wanted to apply this shade all over your lip as a setup for that lip oil. Oh my goodness. That will definitely appear more deeper cherry tone in nature. If you wanted that super rich dark lip, if you wanted to enhance that richness, definitely go in with the plum liner or any liner if that's similar shade that you might have in your collection. Now, in terms of what my favorites are, of course I have to go with the beignet and the, the fleur. Cause these are shades that I just wear on the regular. As beautiful as this is, I don't find myself wearing it very often. And because of how pigmented it is, you have to be a little more careful with how you apply it on the lip. Whereas these shades, I feel you could be a little more reckless. And because of the nature of the formula, that's how I like to apply my product. I feel it's harder with the formula that has this much slip and glide to be careful when you have a color like this, right? You have to be even more so extra careful as opposed to if you were applying a liquid matte or even a traditional cream lipstick or a matte lipstick. I feel like you have to be a little more careful with your application, whereas these are a little easier because they're not as pigmented and I feel you could get away with more mistakes in terms of going outside the line like a little bit. But it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I can't speak highly enough of the texture. I think these are really phenomenal in terms of feel and the fact that I have been taking I mean, taking on and off all throughout this video several times and my lips did not feel dry, chapped, rough, or abused in any way. The formulation, I feel, very much lends to a moisturized feel of a lip that when you take these off, your lips still feel smooth and that's really great to know. And once the lip oil is on there, it's not going around, it stays put for the most part. And just something nice to put on throughout the day, right? If you don't want to apply a traditional lip balm, but you want something, again, with a little more tint and shine, I think you will really like these. I hope this video helped, friends, in you deciding what shade you wanted to get, if you were thinking about it, whether it'll be just the shade individually or any of the dual lip liners. And a huge thank you again to Muse Beauty Pro for sending me these and helping you out deciding what shade you're thinking about getting, seeing them in action, not only solo, but with the lip liners. Hopefully that helped. And with that said, friends, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another review, tutorial, get ready with me, chit chat, or favorites list. Take care and I'll see you again soon.